enjoying the trip. Beautiful views and shit. Jeez, like I gotta film everything? How's this? That's the fourth stop. That's what we drove over an hour for. It's a pile of rocks. What is it? It is, uh, two bodies. Two bodies. Just, Just like us. <laughs> <laughs> There's history there, Jake. Do we need to go read the history? Probably. We drove all this way after all. Oh, is that dump truck doesn't come try to hit us? It's uh, pretty old. Yeah, well, maybe. We'll have to just move then. It's gonna be windy. The original sign? I guess so. Dang. So they were just mauled by wolves trying to get it loose? Well, there's difference in the words. I can tell you when it's not windy, I guess. Oh. So that was our last stop for today. Stop four. Cemetery. Well, well I guess so. Although the cemetery that we passed by looked neat too by the church that you missed. So did that farm. You know, the old school farm thing. Yeah, and that, that, that had a great view when we drove by it. So. It had a monument thing on it too. Why did we go to that one? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about it. Well, so, these uh, are Rogers Rangers. Two of Rogers Rangers. Yeah, from the French and Indian War. And it said they died as heroes, but they died because they were killing a moose but then the moose was gone and then wolves came out and killed one of them and the other two crawled back and died something like that yeah but the other story is they were killed by native americans ah. now the story they're not telling you beforehand is um they were part of a group that raided an indian settlement up in canada up north okay. or upper vermont um the whole the story is, you know you can choose your own side who's the who's good or bad, but apparently these Native Americans were very brutal to white people. They would kill women, children, men, everything. So Roger got a bunch of his rangers together and raided their camp. And the, I guess the story is they were supposed to only kill the men, not women and children. But when the rangers got there, they slaughtered everybody. It's a brutal massacre. And then the, the camps all split up when they left. And this was one of the groups. And so there's there that they were killed by retaliation. The other one, they were killed by wolves. Because apparently they didn't have a lot of stuff with them. So they didn't really have a lot of rations. So they did have to kill food on the way back. Uh, yeah. In case also you're wondering, apparently, yes, Vermont had wolves. <laughs> But uh, we kind of hunted them all out. So Aren't they trying to reintroduce them now? I don't know. It sounds like a bad idea. I think they are, though. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back the wolves. We need more dead people to bury in random places. But So, yeah, if you want to call them heroes, that's up to you. I don't, I'm not sure who started the war, I guess is the question. So that was 1759, right? Yeah, something like that. That's a long time ago. More than 200 years. So I guess I'd want to know who killed the first person that started it determine who's good or bad in this scenario but well you're gonna have to find another landmark <laughs> for us to figure that one out but yeah we're out in the middle of nowhere i hope this thing still works 